What's up YouTube, MacGyver7 here, and today I'm gonna to show you guys an easier way to actually sideload apps onto your Xiaomi Mi Box, all right? So I know earlier I showed you guys a way to actually use ES File Explorer and your USB flash drive with your Xiaomi Mi Box to sideload apps, but this time I'm gonna show you a way to actually do it without actually using anything extra added onto your Xiaomi Mi Box. You're simply just gonna use this app, you're gonna plug in something I'm gonna tell you about, and it's gonna actually download directly to your Xiaomi Mi Box without any extra efforts at all, all right? So let's get started. So the first thing we're gonna do, we're gonna go to Google Play Store, all right? Go up to search, and we're not gonna use voice search just to make sure we get the correct app. And I'm gonna go over here and actually use the text, and I'm gonna put in hashtag side load tag. Now this is a new app that was actually created by Puppet Master TV, and their whole reason behind it is to give users who actually have Android TV set top boxes, an easier way to actually side load apps. And it actually works pretty well. And it's already popped up, there it is. I'm gonna go ahead and click on it, all right? So basically what happens here, it uses tinyurl.com, all right? And then after you actually upload an app or something like that, you're given a tag that goes along with your tinyurl.com app or whatever you may be downloading, all right? For, for this instance, we're using APK, APK files to actually install onto our Android TV box. Now, this is still fairly new, so the community is not as large as what you would typically see for something that's well known, such as like Cody or something like that. So it's fairly new. There are apps available, but it may be a little limited at this time because people are still learning about it and it hasn't really hit the masses the way it should be. And I think after a couple months from now, it's gonna be really big and eventually we'll be able to get all kinds of apps from here that work directly with our Android TV box and just make everything a lot more amazing, all right? So I'm gonna go ahead and install it right here. And there we go. Installing. Boom, it's done. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit open, all right? So the first thing you notice here is gonna say allow silo tag to access photos media. You go ahead and hit allow. It's not gonna hack you or anything like that. Now. Right here it says tag goes here. So this is where you're gonna actually gonna to go to a website that I have listed in the description. And when you go to that website, you're actually gonna see a whole list of tags. Hashtag tag this, hashtag tag that, all right? This is where you're actually going to input that tag. Now the tags could be numbers, it could be series of letters, and things like that. It all depends on what app you're downloading, right? So it's not gonna be your typical, here's the link, download, all right, it's a lot different, more different from that. So for this, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna navigate to the website. I'm gonna use my phone here just for a second so you guys can actually see everything. I'm gonna download Amazon Vid, all right? So the hashtag or the side load tag for this app for Amazon Video is A M Z N I V I D. All right, so this is the side load tag for this particular app. So let's see if it works. I'm gonna hit go. It's gonna search for it using tinyurl.com. And there it is. And guess what? It says, do you want to install this application? I'm gonna hit install. And now here's the thing. There's gonna be a lot of different apps available for Android TVs, all right? But some of these apps may not be compatible with the version of the Android TV you have or the type of box you have, right? So for instance, if you have, let's say something um, like an MXQ box or something like that, or even a Xiaomi Mi box, there may be an app on there that's not compatible just yet for it because of how new it is or it hasn't been updated yet, all right? So don't be alarmed if it says not able to install or not working or something like that. That doesn't mean you did anything wrong. It just means that that app is not compatible with your device, all right? So for this instance, it looks like it went all the way through. I'm gonna hit done. So let's go back out and see if it actually installed onto my Xiaomi Mi box. Let's go over here to my apps. And let's see if we see Amazon. I'm looking, looking, looking. It's YouTube. All right. So I'm gonna go back out here. Let's go all the way back out. And we're gonna check out settings. And let's go to apps. This should give me all my list of downloaded apps. And there it is, Amazon Video. It installed. Let's click on it, see if it works. Open. And looks like it's working. 
still waiting is loading oh look it works perfect all right so this is basically what happens all right now in the description below the video i'm going to put the link you're going to go to to actually find the tags for um downloading using side load tag and like again i can't stress it enough that this is still a new community so you're not going to see every app in the world on there but you may see some apps that are really really good um, i've installed also twitter twitter video which is actually pretty good and if you're looking to watch like thursday night football games or something like that or you're interested in watching some live tv channels it's all on there free um no charge you actually don't even have to sign in for it. it just click on it and the app works right away which is actually pretty nice so Again, um, it has quite a bit of different things on there. Um, I suggest testing them out, see which ones work, see, see you know which one doesn't work, and uh, letting somebody know. You know, go ahead and chat below and let us know, like, hey, this link doesn't work, or this one works great, or maybe you found some more tiny URL site load tags that we can actually use to download onto our uh, Xiaomi Mi Box or something like that. That would be great as well. So, but this is basically what it is. It's called hashtag site load tag. Um, it's actually pretty cool. And it works really well. All right. So go ahead and check it out. And thank you guys again for watching. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, please reach out to me. Send me an email, comment below. And as always, guys, subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. And I'll keep the videos coming as I find out new things that we can actually use and to help us both out. All right. So thank you again. Thank you guys again for watching. Thanks.